The B-52 is one of the oldest aircraft still flying, a Cold War relic that somehow outlasted nearly every jet it was designed to accompany. But now, something unexpected is happening. A brand new engine from Rolls-Royce, the F-130, is about to give this 70-year-old bomber an entirely new lease on life. And this isn't just about better fuel burn or longer range. It's a transformation that could ripple far beyond military aviation. This engine upgrade isn't simply about extending service time. It's about showing how old platforms can be reborn with new technology. The F-130 brings modern efficiency, digital control systems, and stealth-level noise reduction into an airframe first drawn in the 1950s. And the shock? These upgrades could influence how tomorrow's commercial jets are built. Why did the Air Force invest in upgrading such an old aircraft? What makes the F-130 so revolutionary? And how could a bomber from another era end up shaping the future of aviation? Let's find out. For years, the B-52 has remained in service not because it's modern, but because nothing else could match its range, payload, and versatility. But under the surface, it was falling apart. The TF-33 engines powering it were introduced in the early 1960s and were never meant to last into the 21st century. Each year, it became harder to keep them airworthy. Replacement parts were scarce, and technicians were forced to rebuild components that hadn't been manufactured in decades. The situation became so critical that the Air Force resorted to old Cold War methods just to get the aircraft started. One of the most telling examples is the use of cartridge starts, small explosive charges used to spin up the engines manually. It's loud, unreliable, and feels more like lighting a cannon than starting a jet. Even with creative workarounds, maintaining the TF-33s was expensive and inefficient. Every flight hour pushed the engines closer to catastrophic failure. Beyond the maintenance nightmare, the engines were holding the B-52 back operationally. They burned far more fuel than modern turbofans, limiting range and increasing logistics demands. Their noise made the aircraft easier to detect and harder to deploy discreetly. And above all, the risk of engine failure was growing. The Air Force wasn't upgrading these engines out of luxury. It was a matter of survival. What makes the F-130 especially interesting is that its impact could go far beyond the military. Even though it's being built for the B-52, the core technology behind it shares DNA with engines used in commercial aviation. The F-130 is derived from the BR-725, which powers high-end business jets like the Gulfstream G650. That means lessons learned here could feed directly into the next generation of civilian aircraft. Modern airlines are under pressure to cut fuel costs, reduce emissions, and improve reliability. The innovations inside the F-130, advanced materials, better thermal performance and digital engine controls could help drive that progress. Military programs often act as test beds for high-stakes engineering. And once the technology is proven in combat aircraft, it's much easier to adapt for commercial fleets. The crossover potential is real. From smarter maintenance systems to quieter fan designs, the advancements developed for the B-52 could eventually show up in regional jets or even future single-aisle airliners. In this sense, the F-130 isn't just giving new life to a bomber. It's accelerating innovation that commercial aviation may benefit from in the decade ahead. Producing the F-130 isn't just a technical achievement, it's also an economic engine. Every one of these new power plants is being built at Rolls-Royce's facility in Indianapolis, the company's largest site in the United States. Over 600 engines are planned for production, supporting a growing network of American suppliers. That means the B-52 program is now directly tied to hundreds of jobs and dozens of companies across the country. 
This goes beyond just assembly. The program includes advanced tooling, new testing infrastructure, and precision manufacturing that strengthens the entire aerospace sector. The $600 million invested into modernizing the Indianapolis plant has created long-term opportunities for skilled labor, from engineers to machinists. And since the engines will require decades of maintenance and upgrades, the economic impact extends far into the future. For the U.S. government, this is a strategic win. It keeps critical manufacturing domestic, reinforces supply chain resilience, and ensures that military readiness is backed by American industry. It also sends a message to lawmakers and taxpayers that defense spending can be both innovative and economically grounded. The F-130 is not just reviving the B-52. It's revitalizing American aerospace manufacturing from the ground up. Upgrading a 1950s airframe with 21st century engines is far from simple. The B-52 wasn't built for modular upgrades. Integrating the F-130AS requires entirely new pylons, rewiring, and structural reinforcements across the wings. Engineers are essentially retrofitting a legacy platform to handle the stress, weight distribution, and airflow demands of modern propulsion. It's not plug-and-play. It's re-engineering at scale. To handle that complexity, Boeing and Rolls-Royce are relying heavily on digital tools. Advanced simulations and digital twins are being used to model stress points, airflow dynamics, and even vibration patterns before any physical installation begins. This minimizes trial and error, reduces risk, and shortens the testing cycle. It also ensures that every modification fits within the B-52's strict performance and safety margins. This approach blends old and new. It takes the timeless durability of the B-52 and enhances it with cutting-edge engineering methods. The result is a hybrid platform, part analog legend, part digital machine. For the Air Force, that means keeping a trusted workhorse flying while bringing it into operational parity with more modern aircraft. And for industry, it's proof that digital transformation can breathe life into even the oldest designs. Before the F-130 engines ever see operational flight, they're going through a rigorous series of tests. Rolls-Royce began by running a twin-engine pod setup at NASA's Stennis Space Center to simulate the exact conditions of the B-52 installation. This test proved the engines can work in tandem and confirmed early expectations about performance and reliability. Next up is altitude testing, scheduled at the Arnold Engineering Development Complex. These trials will simulate real-world flight conditions like high altitude, thin air, and extreme temperatures. It's a critical step before the engines can be certified for full operational use. This level of testing ensures that nothing is left to chance. Every vibration, heat cycle, and airflow condition is measured. For an aircraft expected to fly into the 2050s, there's no room for uncertainty. F-130 has to be perfect, and these tests are designed to make sure it is. With the F-130 engines on board, the B-52 isn't just more efficient, it's more capable. The increase in thrust from 12,000 to 17,000 pounds per engine boosts takeoff performance, especially in hot or high-altitude environments. That means greater payload flexibility and access to more runways around the world, even in demanding conditions. The extended range also unlocks new mission profiles. With better fuel economy, the B-52 can now reach targets farther out, without needing as many refueling stops. That gives commanders more freedom in planning and reduces the vulnerability that comes with tanker dependence. Add in quieter operation and lower thermal signatures, and the aircraft becomes more adaptable to modern threats. The upgrades aren't just keeping the B-52 alive, they're giving it entirely new tactical options. This is no longer a relic with patchwork fixes. It's a redefined platform with a broader role in the Air Force's future strategy. 
The transformation of the B-52 is being watched closely beyond the United States. Other nations are now considering whether upgrading legacy fleets might be smarter than full replacements. Modern engines like the F-130 offer a rare combination. Lower emissions, higher performance, and reduced maintenance, all without needing to build a new aircraft from scratch. For countries with aging patrol, transport, or even early jet-era combat aircraft, the B-52's revival is a proof of concept. It shows that with the right upgrades, even the oldest airframes can take on modern missions. In a world of tight budgets and rising geopolitical tension, that message carries weight. The F-130 isn't just an engine. It's a turning point one that proves innovation doesn't always require starting over. And as aviation continues to evolve, the shockwaves from this bomber upgrade might reach much further than anyone expected. If you enjoyed this deep dive, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and let us know in the comments. Could the B-52 become the blueprint for future upgrades?